Well, first steps in taking the lawn tractor apart. Failed this winter. Um, cut the snowblower off so I can get the cover off. Then I took off the uh, this cowling, whatever you'd call it, and then this air filter cover, and then the engine cover. And I've removed the coil for testing. Almost done there. From this spot here. And I don't know if I'm going to venture down to the flywheel or not. I should probably pull the flywheel and just get physical eyes on the uh, standard windings. If I pull the flywheel I can see the whole somebody and see if it's been melted or anything crazy. As far as testing it with an ohmmeter though, I didn't get any short to ground with the ohmmeter. I don't have a mega though, that's what you should really use to test something like that. See if it'll spark to ground, you know. Electrical problems on my lawn tractor. This is a Craftsman with an 8 horse uh, Kohler. Which I've partially disassembled. But my issues are that I've got 21 volts coming out of the charging system and blowing fuses um, and cooking the battery. And it's probably why my previous battery only lasted a year. So I don't know how long this has been going on before I finally measured voltage. And burning out headlights, burn out some nice LED headlights that I had bought too. Um, all because my voltage was getting out of hand. So I changed the voltage regulator and uh, which is hanging on the side of the plastic housing there. It's kind of funky the way they ground that thing, but it does have a ground wire to it. Uh, and I double grounded it just to see if that was the issue, and it's still got 21 volts. I changed it with a new part, 21 volts. So now I was thinking, well, maybe my stator's got it short to ground somewhere, and the regulator's just, you know, can't do its job because it's getting weird, you know weird connection to ground, it's upsetting it somehow, but that didn't uh, pan out either. I don't see any short to ground on the uh, stator. Like I said, that's just with a DVM. If I had a Mega, I might get a different result. Might be able to spark through. I keep saying Mega, that's just a brand name for a high potential tester. It's basically a fancy ohm meter with a real high voltage so it can test, you know, the quality of isolation in a transformer and stuff like that. At least the voltage rating of the uh, tester. And it'll arc through and find shorts where other things wouldn't, you know, because you got the extra voltage on it. For the short term, just to get the driveway done, I had a uh, light bulb I was using as a tester in the fuse socket here, which was breaking the voltage so I wouldn't cook the battery so badly. Um, and I was running with the headlights on, I'm trying to get the driveway snow blown, but halfway through the job the uh, headlights burned out and then the voltage went way up and it just stopped running. I think I cooked the coil at that point. Measuring from the terminal to the uh, housing and getting it open confirms the coil's bad. Further tearing into my 18 horse Kohler trying to figure out the mystery of my lawn tractor. It took quite a bit of effort to get the uh, flywheel off. Not having the proper puller. I'm trying to use a generic puller, I had to buy some bolts that would fit the uh, two tapped holes for the factory puller. But uh, my magnets are all intact. These sometimes fall out, come unglued and fall out. There's really no problems I can see here. And ohmmeter says I don't have any short to ground on my uh, stator. I wanted to take it apart because things just don't make sense. I do have fiberglass stuck in between here. I already started cleaning some of it out. But I don't really see anything wrong with the stator. It's not melted that badly. It's not short of the ground. I don't see anything obvious melted in it. My big problem with this motor is uh, mice got in and packed uh, fiberglass all between the uh, cowlings and the 
There's fiberglass pectin everywhere in the fins here. I thought I'd gotten most of it out when I seen it happen that one year, but without taking the motor completely apart, you really can't get it all. Uh, a little bit of cleanup to do. Pulling the flywheel was a little tougher than I anticipated. Got a lot of force on it. Finally dumped hot water, boiling water on top of the uh, flywheel and gave it one last crank. PB blaster in the center. And I finally got it to pop. The cleanup took a little more effort than I thought. I uh, had to take this bolt and this bolt out, this bolt out, these two bolts out. I still got to tighten them up. A little ground off over here just to get this cowling loose enough where I can move it around and weasel this piece of cowling out of there and get all these fins cleaned out. It was uh, worse than I expected. I couldn't even see through you know, this gap here between, uh, by the ports and all. I couldn't even see through there before. So now all these fins are cleaned out. A lot more light through this engine than there used to be. I it was clogged up worse than I had anticipated.